Welcome to the Daily Bits. We're glad you're here. We're glad you're stopping by. Yes, it's me again. And the weird angle is because of the, well, now it's going to work. It kind of looks foggy. We we're trying to fix that. Anyways, uh, he asked me to do it again today. Um, so, update. Last night, um, about 9 o'clock or so, he uh, relented and wanted to go to the ER. So, we went and he got much better care this time. Uh, the doctor seemed like he was mad after we told him like what all happened with Derek and everything they ran all kinds of tests they did an x-ray of his chest and they gave him breathing treatments which is what I had been done doing for him and gave him a prescription for um a couple of inhalers including an albuterol inhaler and uh, also some Flonase and uh, he's, he's not went and picked those up yet, um, but we already have an albuterol inhaler for him anyways, so, um, uh, no pneumonia showed up on the x-rays, so, um, they put the fear of God into us for no reason, um, that, that clinic did, and the doctor was pretty mad that they, diagnosed him with di with pneumonia without an x-ray, like, you have to have an x-ray, to confirm that. So, um, they ran him for COVID, strep, and flu. He was negative on all of them. He just said that Derek probably picked up a um, respiratory virus somewhere and that it just has to run its course. So, of course, we didn't get any antibiotics, but at least we know that he doesn't, in fact, have pneumonia after all. And, um, his chest seems to be drying up. Uh, started. I started seeing progress yesterday, but um, he's just kind of like got a like a rattly, almost asthmatic um, cough and 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 rattle because that's what I sound like when I'm in a, a flare. So we'll just uh, get his prescriptions filled and I'll stay on top of him and to take his um, inhalers and uh his other medicines that they gave him and uh he still wants to take breathing treatments just not around the clock like i was giving it to him um i want uh the uh cough drops i got him yesterday are a big help um he just uh he's fine until he tries to talk or if he gets up and moves around so um that's our clock You usually can't hear us talking over it. So, um, so yeah, so that's why he had me do the video again. Because every time he tries to talk for very long, and he's, he's fighting back coughing now as I speak. Um, So, uh, he's going to try to go back to work tomorrow and work, <coughs> work a 12 hour shift. Um, at least we know that he doesn't have pneumonia anymore. Like, er, um, he, the doctor said that he probably did originally have bronchitis, but <coughs> that it seemed to be getting better and clearing up. So apparently, uh, nurse wife was doing the right things. He was. <laughs> I'm the queen of respiratory disorders. I have asthma and bron chronic bronchitis, so I know exactly what to do. <laughs> and I have the medicines to do it. Anyways, um, so that's our update for today. Uh, it's Sunday for us, but it'll be Monday for y'all. And by the time you see this, Derek will be just starting his 12-hour day. So keep him in your thoughts and prayers that the day goes well for him and they can get some stuff done. And... Um, that he'll feel okay. Uh, he's got some cough drops at work, thankfully. So, um, just hope that he gets over this soon. Um, got anything to add, honey? Mm -mm. No. We've been watching, um, tattoo clips all day. Um, he's got a tattoo coming up on the 18th. He's getting a neck tattoo.
We'll see how that goes. Uh, we'll see y'all later. Bye.